you guys, how's it going? Welcome to episode number two of the third season of the Borussia Dortmund career mode. Since the last episode, we have played quite a few games um, where we lost 2-0 <coughs> to Bayern Munich in the first one. We had a friendly day which we flew through. We then played the German Cup first round and won 5-0 with Brandt and Kojo Huge. Go on Kojo. But didn't want that. Who came in and did a very good job for us um, as Lukaku got injured around this time in this game. Not this one, the one before that. He, I'm sure Lukaku got injured in that one. But, oh well, he got injured at some point, so Kojo was starting. This Then we moved on to Köln and beat them 3 1 at home. Good start to the season. Um, Kojo getting a goal on his um, first team debut. Even better. Um, Max Mayer came on in the second half and did quite well, so quite happy with what he was doing. <coughs> we then played Red Bull Leipzig and beat them 1 0. Um, then Bale getting our goal. A little bit um, lackluster, but couldn't complain. We still got the win. We then played Wolfsburg and lost to them 1 0. They um, just went for it. Oh, Lukaku was playing in this one. So I don't know when he got injured find out after and um, we had to play a couple of slight rotation players like Saul had to come in um, Gundogan got sent off second yellow so it's sort of a bit of a topsy-turvy game and absolutely annoying one we then played um, Leon in the first Champions League group game where Kojo got his first Champions League goal <coughs> sorry guys <coughs> Till Ilsen came on as well and got a goal to actually win us the game because if he hadn't scored they would have equalised and it would have been a draw but we got the win which is very pleasing we then moved on to Hearth and beat them 4-0 Lukaku's come back and started scoring again Ilsen again has got another goal so he's got 2-2 two two there we then played Hoffenheim um, hammered them 5-1. We were absolutely on fire in that one. Kojo got his goal. Um, Lukaku got one. So I was very pleased with this game. We sort of had to rotate the quite a bit due to fitness and fatigue and players being out injured. Um, we, but we then lost 2-0 to Nuremberg where we just didn't turn up. Simply. They came out the blocks. Um, scored early on, held on, and then that was it. We just could not break them down no matter what we did. And it was a very disappointing game. So this episode we're going to be playing the Manchester United game and the Stuttgart game. So we're going to jump straight into those. I'll show you what the squad looks like because I've got, um, in a minute, Julian Brandt's out injured for another two weeks. Jules is out injured for two weeks. And... Our fifty million pound player broke his toe, and he's out for another six weeks, which is what caused us a lot of issues in the last few games because he's been out, and it's just been a nightmare. <laughs> Did we make any final transfers? That's history. No, we didn't actually make any more deals. Um, yeah, in the last transfer window, so I'm not going to go for any of that. So. Pick the team. Mustafi, Tar, big names, all right. Under one, Telemann, Dembele, Maya, Roos, Lukaku. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Spatzman's on the bench. Ilsen's on the bench. Kojo's on the bench. Um, let's move this around so I can see what I'm doing. Kojo from the reserves. No, I'm happy with that. So let's jump into this game. Digne might struggle, but <coughs> we can come off for Hector if needed. So we're going Horn, Digne, Tar, Mustafi, Weiser, Gundogan, Tillemans, Roos, Maya, Dembele, and Lukaku. United as well with De Gea, Shaw, Jimenez, Smalling, Fernandez, Rafina, Renato Sanchez, Depay, Mata, Bernardo Silva, and. Higuain. 
So they've got a very strong team. They've got Jack Butland, Rojo, Lozano, Marshall, Martial, Herrera, Jones, and Snidlin on the bench. I was actually looking at some of their transfers. They've paid twenty eight million for Jack Butland and he's played two games in two seasons for them. I'm just gonna say what a waste of twenty eight million. <laughs> Okay, buy a backup goalkeeper, but to have him only play two games, and for 28 million, that's a hell of a lot of money for just a backup. But we're on the attack, we're playing away from home at the minute. We are sitting top of the Champions League group, um, as Anderlecht actually beat United in their first game. So that was even better. If we can get a win here today, that will really push us forward and give us a very, very good chance of coming out of this group quite well if Anderlecht and Leon could draw that'd be even better um, because I really wouldn't want him to um, or if Leon can win but we need to not give away a penalty in the first 20 minutes which would have been a better start to the game but nothing I can do about that who's got it Silver's got it oh, and Horn went the right way, he just put it too far in the corner. Oh, can we come back now? Because I don't really want to have this issue, I don't really need to say penalty replay. Bit disappointing, come on, can we play this back? Dysol knocks it to Shaw, can we not let him score? And Higuain's made it two and they... And Mustafi's playing shockingly at 5.1. And we're now bottom of the group. Come on. A costly mistake saying we should think about taking him off. We're 30 minutes into the game. Dembele, Maya, other trying to look for Lukaku, but it didn't really work. Come on, can we win this back and get back into this game? Put Mustafi 50 million for a reason to actually solidify our defense, not cause it more issues. But we've only had one shot, and it's not quite what I expected to start this game. Oh, how did that not go in? Going on with the rocket of the shot there. Come on, what do we have? Dignes made a lot of mistakes. Well, apparently our defence doesn't turn up in big games, so they're all making big mistakes. Have to do something second half to try and um, turn this around because no one's playing well. Show me something else because they're really annoying me. Let's um, I'll go to the advanced settings in a minute and see what I can change. Be kind of well voice there. 48 minutes in. Right, let's change this up because nothing's working. Advanced tactics. Let's go to this formation now. Let's push. Who am I taking off first? Mayo, because he's playing rubbish simply. So let's take Mayo off for Ginter. Let's bring. Staffy off for Hoshback. Push Hoshback into the middle. Big name Vaisal. Yeah, that's fine. That's okay. Let's do that for a minute. Let's go attacking. Flexible. We'll go more direct. And let's lower the temp. Keep tempo on normal. Support the wings. I want them to move. And where are we going to do this? Um, we've got that ready. Put shoot left off and on him. Right, let's go for that. We surely can't do any worse, so. We can't get on again to bring Hoog on. We have an extra man at the back, might cause um, the strikers a little bit more problems. I have no idea, and they're 
Shaw's gone forward here, can we claim this bottom quickly? Matter. Sanchez, Memphis. Weiser wins it and loses it again. How the hell did he lose that? Weissel won the tackle though. Am I right? Wins the tackle. Oh, they kick it into each other. Ginter. <laughs> what the fuck is Horn doing? Oh, it's all over my language. I cut that out. There's no one at the back post. From the one back to Weiser. Where's this gonna? Dembele, Lukaku, Tillemans. Through the gap for Roos. Weiser. Come on. You're just not getting anything. And to say we were in good form to come into this was. Absolutely mad. Kick Digney off because he's playing shockingly as well. But and what do we have to do? We change the system up to try and counteract what they're doing. Hasn't worked. Dembele's got it now. Gundawan. Hernandez has got a. I know we're away from home, but I still expect a better performance than what we've got here. And Lukaku is offside. <sighs> we can't even get that luck, can we? And we're going to lose this 3 0. Hmm. That's just. Does that annoy the hell out of me? But it's a game and I can't do anything about it, so. Where are we going with this? I'm going to need to get one back, maybe. No, apparently not. And we're going to just run this down, and that's it. What do I say? Far oh, I'm pleased. Aggressively, terrible performance. And I'm still pissed off with him. This is what do I have to do? Get away. Can we get to the Bundesliga game quickly and rectify what's just happened? But well, Mustafi and Digne aren't starting this game. <laughs> I know that for sure. But can we get there finally? Jump straight into this one. Let's get rid of them. Team selection. Quick pick. Right. Staffy's coming out for Ginter. And Hector's in anyway, so that's fine for that. And let's tactically give Ilsen a run. And Hugo a run. Let's change it around and hope we can do a better performance in this game. I have no idea what team they're playing because I don't know many Stuttgart's players. <laughs> Let's have a quick look. Um, Hoffman, Zimmer, Zimmer, Emmanuel Isua, Mariano Isua, Kriakos. Is that it really? I don't recognise many of their other players. 
And as I'm talking, who's gone and scored the first goal of the game? <laughs> With an absolutely brilliant shot. Two minutes in, why didn't I play him in the last game? <laughs> Dembele up to Tillemans, who plays it all the way up around the outside, and Hoog's there on side with the first time shot into the bottom corner. What a goal! And he's doing the Usain Bolt um, pose. And Roos has just gone and put in a free kick a minute later as well. This is a lot better performance and just what the team needed to be. Kicking back off into a better run of form. <laughs> I was a little bit unlucky for the goalkeeper. It hits the crossbar, comes down and hits him and goes in. Nothing the keeper could do there. But we're going to have a good game on. Look at this. Wilson just looks like he's an excellent player. Okay, he's not got the best technicals in the world, but mentally and physically he's quite well and he's been performing really well in the box to box or on the games I have played him in. As you can see we've got the league table in here. Um there's two surprise names at the very top. And when they come back up, I'll tell you, I'm pretty sure it's like fucking time and I didn't see who the other one was, I can't remember. So we're going to go, can we win this back and not let them score? Them not scoring before half time would be very pleasing. But Hazard's got it all the way up to Lech. Good tackle-ish. Dembele. Tillman's out to Hoog. And we've got number 12, Hoog shoots. Hoog shoots from the edge of the box. And that was a very audacious shot, but I'm glad he's got the to go for it. Hanover and Hamburg are the two teams at the very top of the table with us and Bayern Munich behind them at the moment. They've had some very good um, starts to their fixtures already and some very good results. But we are slowly catching them up if we can win the ball back. Winters lost out and they've gone it through to whoever this guy is and they play all the way at the top to Lech Lechy, Lechy. But we're able to block that, luckily. But we can't get it up to who and they're back on the attack trying to stop him from scoring. And oh that was close. Very, very close. <laughs> Roos up to Hector. Plays it all the way in Dembele. And it's saved by Jacob on the line. Is it Jacob or Jacob? Jacob? No idea. But we are having some very good chances. I wish we'd scored that last one there. And if we can stop them from scoring, even better. But especially saying last game we were shit, simply. That's what bugged me is when stuff like that happens. It's an easy pass off kickoff and you go and give it away. Mm, who do we have who can bring on? Do we bring pass like on for a run out? Um, Mayor probably be coming on. So I can rest maybe Gundawan. Guarini. Hazard. 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 Dembele wins it to Weisser. Well up to Tillemans. Knocked back to Gundawan. Plays it up over the top for Hoog. He was almost three. He's still going. He shoots. And is that Ahub? Lacob? Um, I'm probably butchering it, so I'm sorry. So let's make some substitution and see what we can do now. Right. Um, Mayor can come on for Gundawan. Gundawan. Making a sort of Tillemans and pass that can come on for Weiser, who played quite a few games at the minute as well. So, let's see how the last half an hour goes and hopefully be able to claim another goal. If we can get a few goals in this one to build our confidence back up, why is Hector right back? But he, Kojo's in, he went around the man, and real chance for him to put that in and get his second of the game. 
but it's a bit disappointing we went and missed that one. Fourth man Hazard. Horn plays it up to Roos. Dawson knocks it down to Tillemans, but he's tackled, but he's dropped the pass back and out to Dembele and Meyer. Back out to Dembele, lovely ball over the top, it's come to the box, Roos at the back post. And it's hit the bar and gone wide. Bruni with the header by. No, that was Bruni who got the header. Pass lack, lost it to Bruni. Mm. Why not just put your foot through and clear it and not pass it back like that? Mm, why, why? Pass lack, anything but that. And Horn doesn't do anything to help, does he? If we go and lose this because of a stupid um, moment like that, but not to worry, then Bele's gone and made us, um, made us, I don't know what's going for there, but restored our two goal lead, literally straight after they've scored, so he plays it out to Mayer. Ball out to Roos, who just dinks over the top with Dembele unmarked at the back post. Lovely header. It's into the back of the net. And what a good start. We had quite a few offers on deadline day for Mayer. Not Mayer. Um, for Dembele. And I didn't... Um, I didn't... Um, take him. Right, who do I bring off? Dembele or Kojo? Kojo, because I've only got one strike, but I've got a few players who can play right wing. Perhaps if I go to advanced tactics and push Mayer out there, pause it for a sec, and put, move into channels, okay. And can we just do that for a minute? I have to click continue to do this and just to take off Dembele so I don't overwork him. There's only a few minutes left. And there we go. Well, that was a two games of two different styles there completely. From the first game to winning, to losing 3 0, to winning the second one 3 1. But let's have a quick look at the table. Um, Kojo's out for three to four weeks. Not what I wanted to see. Dembele, three to four weeks. Is that they've both got twisted ankles? Yes. Okay, so some of the youngsters will be getting game time. So at the minute we sit on fifteen points, one point behind Hamburg and one two points behind Hanover. Bayern Munich one point behind us on equal shackle. So the top of the table from eighth all the way up to first is four points difference so any of these teams could come up there surprising Stuttgart are quite low and, and they've been 17th in the league it's a real shock there so let's have a quick look at the squad to see what we can do because Lukaku will be going in there now who do we have got Brandt out injured Ulfric will probably be getting some game time now and actually change some note Level to match fit. Let's take it off that so he's just available for the first team. That can go to the bench. Bolling can come onto the bench as well because I'll be rotating Bolling, Mayer, and Roos around for those three positions. So that's what's going to be the sort of thing that's for you episodes. So we're going to come back next time for. I don't know. Who should we come back for? And the late game? Hanover's in the German Cup, so I'm not fussed about that one. No, let's come back for the Shackle game. And do that one. Because they're a good team. And then after that, we can come back for the United game. So, thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.